So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Timik Baj, a butcher and fashion photographer based in London, UK. So today I'll be taking you to the behind the scene of this photo shoot I did with um, the beautiful Monique. And um, yeah, all of the images are like so nice. And yeah, she's a goofball. <laughs> the model, she's, she's also a professional dancer. So she knows her angles she was very flexible with like her poses and all of that so, and guys as you can see ignore the tape i have behind my um clothes because <laughs> yeah i think i was trying to tape the background and i just really forgot i had the tape behind me so um guys i start off this first look um by shooting using the um uh, by using the softbox and also right behind me i had a strobe behind me which i was bouncing straight to the wall as my fuel light so the softbox is my main light the strobe was my fuel light which is bare ball but it was pointing to the wall so it created a very large view and at the same time also i had the two strip boxes by the side which created um which created the separation light behind my subject so and yeah this is really like the looks we had from this first look so at the same time i'm all the kind of person when i'm on set i tend to like try different things um there's no there's no shame in having your subject present and you actually fiddling with your equipment just to make sure you're getting what you want because i would rather get the perfect picture in camera than having to go in post-production to get the images so yeah i decided to move the light around just to make sure i'm satisfied with what mm -hmm. i'm getting so i initially had the light directly overhead and i moved the light to the side um and also i used the grid on my main light which is a softbox just so i don't want the light spilling all around and at the same time i decided to put a bounce board which has a foam board you could see to the camera right just to fill up the shadow area of her face just walk on by never even said hi no no then we would never know so after i did these guys i was like okay um the gray background wasn't doing it for me i just wanted something different because she was putting on a green outfits then i thought okay maybe i should add the red background to add a little bit of contrast to the um to the old image and more like color contrast this time and in which i did and after i did this i kind of like loved the image better i still use the same light setup for this and yeah, yeah as you guys can see and maybe in time we can figure out so this brings me to my second look. Um, the second look I had, uh, I decided to use an optical snoot to create a separation. And um, I placed this optical snoot on one of my lights and this was more of like my main light. The optical snoot was creating a slice of light because I had, it had a gobo in it which created a slice of light. So I had the optical snoot do that and also at the same time I still kept the two strip lights behind and also i still had the fuel light to just bounce into the wall right behind me so the optical snow was my main light my fuel light was the light pointing to the back wall which was white and yeah the strip light as you can see the images guys they're really nice so really um photography to me is more about creating it's i oftentimes do not like doing mm -hmm same thing i've done before i just love to create different things using my lights to like just create a different type of image so yeah and um i got this image is just almost like the first look where just a little bit of tweak to my lighting and that's what we got here so this is gonna bring me down to my third look and for the third look without the snoots this time just the softbox and without the grid so i decided to use the foam board as my fuel lights and i had the same softbox camera left as my main light so but um i guess my camera went off when i was shooting this because i decided to change the light and set up also i decided to place the same light in the softbox i decided to place it directly overhead and i placed the grid in the light again and i decided to shoot out just with that light 
and you guys can see the outcome or the results from this particular look so this is us literally shooting three different looks in less than i say an hour or an hour and a half and so literally this is just a very short video just to show you guys how i tend to like shoot and how i move through my um creativity i guess <laughs> so um guys if you think you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also at the same time don't forget to hit the post notification bell to get notified as i post new videos every time and again guys i'm sorry about the <laughs> tape behind me <laughs> but yeah i think it's just a kind of vibe so i'll see you guys on the next video bye